I remember when I first started making beats and I exported it to MP3 and I played it back in the car and it sounded absolutely awful just because I didn't know the right settings. I didn't know what I was doing, basically. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to export your project correct, the proper way, so that when you play it back, send it out to artists, clients, upload it to streaming platforms, it will sound how it sounds when you created it in Logic Pro. What's going on YouTube fam, it's Casey. Welcome back to my channel. So this video, I'm gonna show you how to export your project, your file, your session, export, bounce, same thing. So I'm just gonna show you how to do that correctly. I've got a mix here that I've done for an artist. So I'm just gonna use that for this video today. I'll play it so you can just quickly hear it. Yeah. They gon' call it a sneaky link, but I call it a mission. They gon' hate to see us together, tell them my name business. Different stroke for different foes, but you- Nice, nice mix. So I'll just put their social media links in the description. Wanna go and check them out and support some new music. So first thing I'm gonna do is highlight the area that you want to bounce down that you want to export so our locators i like to have a little bit of a start off with my locators so it doesn't just start straight away you also want like a little bit of a tail at the end so if you've got some effects some reverbs some delays at the end of the, the mix then you don't want to cut them off oh, yo. so those delays i want to keep so then the locator is it's not going to finish exactly where the file finishes because then it will cut it off. We don't want that. We want a tail. So you set your locators. You can go to file. You can go down to bounce and then you can click project or section. But you see how long that took. We don't want that. You want to learn your shortcuts. It's important to know your shortcuts, especially if you've got clients like sitting with you in a session and you're whizzing around on the keyboard because you know your shortcuts. It looks good. So yeah, learn your shortcuts. To bounce, export your session. All you got to do is press command and B. And it's going to bring your box up. So we're going to just export MP3, tick the box for MP3, click on MP3. If you don't click on MP3, then you're not going to see the options for the MP3. So you need to click on the actual MP3 where it says MP3. Bitrate, mono. Don't worry about that because you're not bouncing down to mono. If I'm just sending off a quick mix to an artist or it's a quick bounce, I will use 320 kbps just because I want, I want it to sound pretty much the same as what I can hear when I'm creating it. You have to bear in mind that it's going to be different file sizes. For this particular bounce, it's about 7.7, .7, yeah, 7.7 .7 megabytes, which is, it's not that big, but if you're worried about space, then I would drop down the bit rate. So 320 is cool, I like 320. We're going to go 320. In stereo modes, joint stereo. If you want to write your ID free tags, you can. Don't really bother with that. You can do that if you want to. Just put all your all the necessary details in there. Then over here, we've got real time or we've got offline. Now real time's cool because when you're listening in real time, you can hear if there's something not right in there. It might be like a glitch or something that you didn't hear before. So you can just listen to it on low volume or with your headphones and while it's bouncing, you can hear it in real time. You can also do offline, which is a lot quicker and is just as good. I don't bother with include tail because we've created a tail anyway, so don't worry about that. Normalize, I always keep normalize off. And then you just click OK and it will start to bounce. So going back to real time and offline, when it's in real time and you're listening back, you might hear something that you're not really feeling. So you can just press escape, which I'll show you now. So we're bouncing, we're gonna name this which is just MP3 and we're gonna to, just so I know which one it is, doesn't really matter. It's playing. And I've heard a glitch, so I'm thinking, like, I want to stop this now, sort that glitch out. Press escape and it will stop, which is cool, I like that. But if you're doing it in offline, can't press escape, but you can press command and full stop and it should stop. So we're going to go again, offline. So notice when you're doing it offline, you can't hear it, it's a little bit quicker. I remember that you've left something on there that you didn't want to put on there, you don't want it on there. So we're going to stop that, we're going to press command and full stop, it's gonna stop bouncing down. So now I'm gonna talk about how to bounce down to WAV file, which is pretty much the same thing, just a few different settings. Command and B, because we like shortcuts. Check PCM. Bear in mind, you can do both at the same time. So if you wanted to, you can bounce WAV and MP3 at the same time, but we're gonna do one by one. File format, I'm gonna say WAV. I call it WAV file. I don't know what you call it. Drop a comment below and let me know what you call it. I, I like to call it WAV. A lot of people call it WAV. It's the same thing, don't matter. Okay, so we're going to leave resolution at 24 bit, 44.1 kilohertz. File type interleaved. We don't want to split, we leave it as is. Divering, don't worry about the divering. We can add it to project if we want. It should do that anyway, automatically in your bounces folder. Or you can add it to your music folder. I just leave those blank. I don't want to do all of that. Same again, real time or offline, which one do you want to choose? And then you've got your normalize, which I like to keep off. All normalize is doing is just gonna, it's just gonna compress your file. So if there's some stray peaks, it's gonna compress them. But we've done all of that in the mix. So we don't, you don't need to have that on. I don't like it. You can use it if you want, but I, I don't know. I tend to stay away from that. Then we're just gonna click okay. We're going to name our file. You just name it whatever you want. We're going to call this one test wav2. 
hit bounce that is offline we don't want offline so we can just press command and full stop it's going to stop we're going to go again we're going to put that into real time because i want to hear it as i'm doing it as it's bouncing down exporting press bounce again it's got all the same info and we're good to go if you want to know how to export stems track outs individual files to send off to a mix engineer or to an artist because they've bought track outs then watch the next video thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video